Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmsdon Farm, here in Farming Simulator 22, with me C1E. It is pouring the rain, as I'm picking up the last of the bales, um, I'm over on field 22, I want to say. Um, I'm going to take them and sell them, I've only got 20 on this load, and then we're going to have a look probably get the um, silage bunker empty if it's ready to empty and that might mean a change of equipment now I have got stones collected off all my fields um, I've also had to just around this field here field two and i've had to um, paint the edges a little bit hence why the edges currently have no texture on them and no grass growing on them um because when i was cultivating i um i made a i made a boo-boo um i noticed as i was doing the cultivating that the the cultivator you might remember I, in the last video i bought a john deere modded um, cultivator and I note I did quickly discovered it had an issue whereby it would slide as you were cultivating the thing would literally like fishtail on you as you were going across the field and I didn't know whether that was some kind of issue with like um the trailer axle blocker mod uh, I've got the um trailer axle block mod installed <laughs> I didn't know whether that was like a, an issue so I tried to lock the trailer axle um, to see if it would um, solve the problem however I pressed the wrong button I didn't realize that when the trailer axle mod got updated quite recently they changed the key bind for locking the trailer axles to actually be the um, um, like the question mark key on the UK keyboard or the sort of backslash bracket um, it used to be Y um, but obviously Y conflicts with several other functions within the game so obviously the mod maker changed it for that reason because it used to be Y that's the button I pressed and as a result on my cultivator I turned on the allow field creation option and then as I was going around the field I ended up basically plowing a new edge all on my field <laughs> um which obviously was not a good idea good thing to do so I've, I've i've kind of been round now with the paint tool so the field has actually got a little bit smaller as a result but it is what it is um at least i fixed it kind of <laughs> not super neat as you can see some areas of the field the brush kind of wanders about a bit and it's got rather jaggedy jaggedy edges but hey ho it is what it is so anyway fix that so those fields are now ready for seeding so we could get on with seeding as well today um, seeding in the rain so what I ended up doing, as you may have just caught a glimpse then, we'll just swing in here. I ended up selling the uh, John Deere cultivator, this caro thing, um, because I didn't like it fishtailing, and I then bought the Pottinger one. The difference being, that one only cost 90 grand, the John Deere one cost 120 grand, or whatever it was, so... I've lost 30 grand because um, the, the, when I sold the John Deere di disc arrow, they only gave me 90 grand back. So I've either lost 30 grand or I've overpaid 30 grand for the Pottinger. You decide on that, on that one. Um, but yeah, we've got the bales all into storage we got the cows fed 
in the last episode. Um, that part there. So I'm just going to have a quick check and remind myself of what's occurring everywhere else currently on the map. Contract, we've still got a contract open. Harvesting contract, field 18. I can't complete it at this moment in time, ladies and gents. Um, because I've got to wait for the grain mill to process through all of its stuff. Um, have got the um, thingy factory obviously running. Um, need to figure out where to load manure. So we've got manure to get rid of. Uh, I am trying to process as much barley as I can. Um, we've run out of canola. We've got... Um, that working currently. You haven't got any fabric going into there. Got no eggs and stuff for there. Right. Let's sink then. I believe, like I say, that the silage bunker over here is a. Uh, I can quickly do a bit of refuel. Is it ready for... Is this ready? Uh, it is. Right. Uh, burn off the strong arms. Yeah, one loady wagon. Should I say one telly handler of power? Close the gates so the cows don't run away. Let's just check the manure situation. Slurry I emptied, didn't I? Uh, and the manure is growing. Whilst I'm here, can I just do something with this area here, please? Because, um,. I don't like the fact it looks a bit bare. <laughs> Again. Um, I, should, I, I expect the texture on that field, on field two. I do expect that to kind of... I do expect the grass to regrow around the edge of the field there. It's just that after I painted the terrain, I, I went round with the cultivator just to make sure all the edges were um, picked up. Six thousand four hundred and sixty liters at a time. That is going to take ages to empty that book. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, ladies and gents, if we could borrow a piece of equipment that would make life a lot easier. There's my soil roller. Leave that parked in there. Um, let's have a look then. Uh, da, 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 miscellaneous. Is it under miscellaneous? No, it's not. Is it under wheel loaders? It is under wheel loaders. Okay. That's 200,000 bucks, ladies and gents. Lease that for 10 grand. And then if I go into shovels. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big wheel loader. 
This um, released on the mod, mod hub recently, along with a, a dump truck that goes with it. It's clearly designed for more construction based type um, operation. You'd probably find this working in a quarry somewhere or something in real life. And obviously it doesn't have the Caterpillar branding, but I think it's clearly modelled on a Caterpillar. Maybe even a Volvo type deal. But I would say looking at the colour scheme, with the black and the orange there, that is more Caterpillar to me. From again, my time in engineering, producing parts for Caterpillar. Um, hydraulic control valves for Caterpillar equipment. can get the silage bunker emptied it would be nice and then I don't really fancy like I say although we can do seeding now um, it is pouring with rain ladies and gents so I will I will soon wait a day This thing is huge. Get a screenshot for the full now. <laughs> Cows are laying down, it must be raining. But yeah, this has got double the scoopage capacity of the previous um of my my Ellie handler there. I'm hoping this will uh, make short work of this bunker. Oh, they want the cameras a bit. When you've got the uh, when you when you're doing the articulated steering. And moving the camera at the same time it does give you a little bit of motion sickness so i apologize to everybody watching the video if it makes you a little bit nauseous the quick camera angles nice though so I can't remember how many liters were in that bunker So I'm currently wondering what crops to plant on my fields. Um, I'm thinking possibly canola on field two, um, chucking sorghum up onto field uh, three. Um, we might do. Um, have a quick look. Where's the crop calendar? Yeah, so we can plant wheat, barley, canola, and oat presently. Okay. Um, I've got a field of oat planted. 
So, yeah. Canola on field two. Sorghum on field three. Um, possibly wheat on field six. And then I can... We've got barley on 20. So 23, we can do something different. Um, I am seriously thinking of turning field 23 into a grass field. And then field 22 down here that we've been, that I have been using as a grass field. I'm thinking about plowing that and make joining it into field 20 and making field 20 a big crop field. Uh, it's a little, just makes a little bit more sense to me. Because uh, then all, all the grass fields are kind of contained then here. Um, and then obviously we've got field 10, the one random field off on its own. Yeah, that's kind of my plan. Like I say, I would like to get into some root crops as well. At some point, I would like to do some potatoes and some sugar beets, particularly because at the sugar factory, we are going to need to make some sugar too, uh, to keep our thriving cake business running. I think last time I did this, um, I used the conveyor belt <laughs> rather than the wheel loader. I could have used the conveyor belt. Wouldn't I, I suppose. Just drive the, keep driving the trailer. Me, uh, use my loading wagon. Drive that under, fill the loading wagon with the silage and then bring the loading wagon over and tip. Which seems to work okay. But yeah. Mm, rainy old day now. After a the initial good start to the day that we had in the last video. Um, to reverse it. Because there's a lot of silage in that bunker. More than I remember there being, but... Because I only collected grass off, I think, these two fields. For that bunker. There was no other grass included in my uh, mowing.
Oh, it has got high dump functionality there. Good. Just noticed that. All wheel loaders should have high dump function though, shouldn't they? On buckets. That's where you press the other button and it tilts. Because some, some buckets tip and then you've got an extra sort of tippy function as well. silage as I say when we get into not November December time we probably will sell some of this silage again for additional monies additional field income right I'm just going to leave that there for the moment um, I'm going to get our friend Mr. Lamborghini Jr. I'm going to come down and I'm going to have a look at the manure situation now. See if I can't get that sent off, shipped off to the BGA as well. I think that's where I want to take it, isn't it? Yeah, biogas plant is the only place on the map that buys manure. Okay. I'm not going to open the gate again. I'm going to go around and in the top. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Through the top gate, down to the manure pit, load this up with manure. And then we can swing down to the BGA and see where we actually dump this stuff. out moo cows trailer coming through and look at least the good thing in fs22 you don't have to shovel the manure you can actually just drive next to the bin and fill that's a nice addition by giants run over my cows It's a wet day. Winter is coming, ladies and gents. Winter is coming.
we need to get into, like I say, hopefully tomorrow, when the uh, we have a new day ahead of us, hopefully we'll have some uh, space at the grain mill to be able to complete that harvest contract. That would be quite nice. That would be very nice indeed. Get that bit of money in. Suppose I ought to have my beacon on whilst I'm carting. Three hundred and thirty-nine thousand in the bank currently. Hmm. What could we buy with that? What could we buy? Oh, I think that's a digestate fill point there. Okay, I can actually overload them in the right there. What? The BJ's got such limited capacity. Ah! <laughs> oh, I've still got 12,000 litres then. Hmm. Not great. Gonna have to leave that there then. For a time. Moving. Oh, I'm not a shame. Only twelve thousand liters of manure. That's not gonna be super helpful. Because I'm gonna have loads of manure from these cows in time. Hopefully, hopefully it processes the manure a lot quicker than it does the silage. Because um, definitely do we get in a bit richer. Might have to look into placing a uh, placeable then. A manure cell point. There have been a couple of mods released on the mod hub for selling manure. I'm sure I've got one or two of them downloaded and installed, so I could always place a manure cell point somewhere. If the BGA is not going to cooperate. Because I am going to need to get rid of it. Like I say. 15,000 litres or whatever. 18,000 litres that the BGA holds. That's going to be nothing. The cows are going to produce loads.
Yeah. I mean, if we actually sold all the silage we currently have, I bet we've got quite a bit. One and a half million litres. We could actually do with more straw. Believe it or not. Straw's the thing we're short of more now. A lot of silage. At least it stopped raining. just take this we'll just i'll just carry on with this then today now the rest of the for the day probably end this episode early today rather than because i know some of the last couple of episodes have been quite long so yeah makes a change to have a short little episode for everybody so yeah thank you everybody for watching today's episode of calmston farm hope you've enjoyed it i will be back with more content very soon but for now, from me, see Wally, it's goodbye. So, uh, cheerio, ladies and gents. <laughs>